So what is a cash advance and is it good for velocity banking? Should we be considering this option? Okay, I get some questions, some people on the channel, some comments, and some of you new people as well are asking wonderful questions. So for this whole entire month, I'm gonna be just creating some fundamental videos that you guys can really just absorb, mark down, be like, okay, that's a good, that's a go, that's a no, when we're doing velocity banking. Okay, so the first thing I want to cover is what is a cash advance? All right, some people are confusing this for when I'm saying us taking money out of a line of credit, out of a credit card, or out of a HELOC. Let's direct our attention to the board. Okay, a cash advance, listen, is an expensive way to pull cash out of a credit card, okay? Cash advances are also, can be in like a home equity line of credit or home equity loan, I've seen it. But for majority of cash advances that people are aware of, that people know of them mostly, are in credit cards, okay? It's kind of like a second line of credit, okay? where you've got, you know, let's say you've got a $5,000 credit limit on your credit card, okay? And then you see a little uh, option below it says you have, I don't know, 2,000 of cash advance limit, okay? You have like a 2K cash advance limit, all right? If you were to take this money out, okay, that means you are probably facing some sort of financial issue because this is what I call like your last resort option. Okay, a cash advance is your last resort. Listen, I'll tell you, go get a loan before you go get a cash advance. Okay, it's a cash advance is like a short term loan. You really don't want to be playing around with this it can cost you a lot of money. To give you a little story, I did a cash advance when I was like, I think 18, 17, I was in high school. I didn't know what it was. I just saw, oh, you have cash available. I was like, oh, okay. So I go to the bank and I, and I took a cash advance and they gave me like 300 bucks and immediately I got charged a fee, okay? And then from the day you take money out, you begin to start accruing interest charges day one okay so it there is no you know uh, delay there's no period where you're not getting charged interest it charges you interest right away on top of that you charged a fee so I'm gonna break it down for you here so you've got either a five percent or ten dollar withdrawal fee from the very beginning of pulling any amount of cash out okay then some credit cards, I don't know about all of them, but some will increase the interest rate on just the, the cash advance, not the whole amount, just the cash advance, okay? Then if you decide to pull money out of the ATM, there's like a two to, two to five dollar fee on that, okay? So if you're gonna do a cash advance, don't even, don't even go to the ATM, just walk into the bank, okay? Talk to the lady, talk to the guy. Listen, there's no grace period which is what I was talking about. Interest begins to accrue right away, all right? And the problem with cash advances is you can only withdraw a percentage of the credit limit. Like I said, they're gonna, they're gonna see on your mobile app, you're gonna see your credit limit, what you owe, your due date, closing date, and you'll see another thing that says cash advance, cash credit line, or something like that, okay? so. What I'm trying to say is you don't want to do cash advance for velocity banking, okay? I get some questions, I have some people. I think some of you have done this. Listen, no, this is not velocity banking, okay? We are trying to avoid interest costs. We are trying to eliminate interest. We are trying to pay zero in interest when we are borrowing money. We're trying to pay zero or close to zero. Okay, this is far from zero. There are other options 
that we can consider other than a cash advance, okay? And let me tell you, a little kicker is if you are in a situation where you need money, you can't pay a bill. Listen, it's better to be late with that phone bill, that internet bill, cable. Better to be late than to do a cash advance, okay? I'd rather pay the late fee on that bill of 50 bucks or $35 than all the interest that I'm going to pay over here. And that's the truth, okay? Some other options that we can consider when doing velocity banking is you apply for a line of credit. Okay, if you're in a jam, apply for a line of credit. Okay, this, that's the debt tool I want you to get. A line of credit, personal line of credit, HELOC, okay? Or if this is too hard to obtain, we can look at what's called a balance transfer. Okay, I'll make a video specifically on that. All right, and then there's another option called convenience checks. Okay, I'll have a video on that specifically. So for this quick video right here, I just wanted to display, listen, what is a cash advance? Is it good for velocity banking? Clearly we've made the assumption, the conclusion that cash advances are expensive, therefore not good for velocity banking. And a cash advance, in my opinion, it's like a little trap it's to like tempt you to, you know, get cash to do things with it but there are alternative ways. And you and I are gonna learn these things together so that we can teach our kids the right path, okay? My name is Denzel. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like these videos, if you've been lurking on my channel and binge watching, I love you. Please hit the subscribe button. Like this video. You wanna work with me one-on-one? -on -one? Listen, I have a lot of resources that you can check out in the description below, okay? Have a wonderful day and God bless.